Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to prove that how we can get the maximum moment due to uniformly distributed load on the simply supported beam. And we can get the maximum moment here, WL square by 8. So we have to prove this equation that how we can get this maximum moment at the mid span of the beam. This maximum moment is at the mid span of the beam because there is a uniformly distributed load. So of course the maximum bending moment will be at the mid span as the support reactions are at the extreme ends. So how to prove this equation now? So we have to first to find out the support reactions here. This one and this one is W is a distributed load. So if we shift convert this load into a pointed load. So W in kilonewton per meter is a distributed load. If we multiply this with the whole length of the beam. L, so meter meter will be cancelled, we will get W L in the unit of kilonewton, which shows that this load is now pointed or concentrated load. So this load will be acting at the center point of the beam W L in the unit of kilonewton, which shows that now this load has been transferred from the distributed load into pointed or concentrated load. And this load will act at the midpoint of the beam. So now here this will act at the midpoint means L by 2 from this end and L by 2 from this end. Now what will be the support reactions is WL is the maximum load acting at the midpoint. So of course half load will be shifted or will be transferred to this support WL by 2 and half load will be taken by this support. This is a simple mathematics that the load will be divided into two parts and as this load is acting at the midpoint so equal load will be distributed WL by 2 and WL by 2. Now this was the first step to find out the support reactions. The second step is to draw the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment. So here we have shear force diagram, here we have bending moment diagram. So in shear force in the unit of kilonewton. Now starting from here at this point which is for example 0, 0 reference for the shear force. So WL by 2 is acting in upper direction here we can see so here it will also WL by 2 it will move up up to the distance of WL by 2 and then there is a downward force acting on the beam so it will bring this shear force in downward direction up to the point of WL by 2 because here we have again WL by 2 but this one in the negative direction this one is in positive direction so this is the shear force diagram for this kind of loading. So here we will have zero shear force at this point where we have zero shear force we will have maximum bending moment. Now to find out the area of this shear force diagram we will get the bending moment because shear force diagram the area of the shear force diagram gives the bending moment value bending moment. So we have to find out the area of the shear force diagram this area up to the midpoint so w l by 2 is the height and base is this is l by 2 as we know that that at l by 2 there will be zero shear force so the area of this triangle will be half base into height or we can say half base is l by 2 height is w l by 2 so after solving this we get WL square by 8. So the area of this shear force diagram is WL square by 8 starting from here 0 because this is a port there is no moment. So the maximum moment will be here at this point which is WL by L square by 8. Again if you find out the area of this triangle which is again L by 2. So here it will be negative minus WL by 2 because it is in negative direction. So the A2, the area of this box will be half base into height. Height is again WL by 2 but in negative my, multiplying with the L by 2. So here we get minus WL square by 8. So if we add plus with minus we will get here again 0 bending moment value. So the maximum bending moment value here at the mid span is WL square by 8. We find out from the area of the shear force diagram. So I hope you guys understand how to find out or how to prove this relation that we have maximum moment at the mid span of the beam WL square by 8. 
Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.